can you imagine a humble pickup truck beating a high-performance exotic supercar in a race? Well, you don't need to imagine because not so long ago we had a gem of a truck called GMC Cyclone on the market. And now the possibility that history might repeat itself is once again true. Today we will tell you why the show-stopping GMC Cyclone takes center stage in the automotive world. The Original Cyclone As with all the best things, this one almost did not happen. The original Cyclone was a problem child to begin with, not for being a bad concept, but yet again, like most of the best things, the original Cyclone was almost killed by the accounting department of GM. Stating that such a vehicle would likely be too expensive to manufacture, the fancy suits did not want anything to do with it. Luckily, GMC decided to push through with the idea, an idea that resulted in probably the best and most legendary small pickup trucks ever produced, the original 1991 GMC Cyclone. This truck had a monstrous 4.3-liter turbocharged engine, producing 280 horsepower and 350 foot-pounds of torque. This small truck was capable of reaching 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.3 seconds, a number that even high-performance exotic supercars struggled with. Combine that with a sports car-like suspension, four-wheel drive and lightweight, and we got ourselves a true supercar killer, the Comeback. With the small truck segment rising in popularity, the market is thirsting for exciting new entries. The manufacturers are reviving one historically significant name after the other. The Bronco, the Ranger, Nissan Square Body. So without a doubt, the market is more than ready for a comeback of one of the most legendary names in the small truck world, the GMC Cyclone. Although nothing is written in stone yet, high-ranking industry insiders have shared some insights into the future iteration of this vehicle. The Chassis. One of the most important questions, talking about the new Cyclone, is what chassis and architecture it will be using. Well, the safest, least expensive and historically most accurate route would be to go to the existing part warehouse and reuse some already existing bits. The original 91 Cyclone was manufactured on the well-known Chevy S10 chassis. Today's modern equivalent would be the GMT 31XX-2 platform shared among the Chevy Colorado and the GMC Canyon. General Motors in-house compact truck variant. It is safe to assume that the new Cyclone will be based on this same chassis. It is crucial to understand that the original Cyclone was not a completely new truck, yet more sort of a special high-performance edition of the Chevy S10. In this day where manufacturers try to squeeze every penny worth of value from their production and try to save as much cost as possible, it would be hard to expect that the accounting department would approve the development of a completely new platform just to release a niche special edition vehicle the body and interior. The original Cyclone was and is well loved by car enthusiasts, not only for the mind-blowing performance, but also for its timeless and elegant design. Despite being based on a humble truck body, the added flared wheel arches, low stance, massive performance bumpers and custom wheels made this truck look truly amazing. Combined with the black color most Cyclones came painted with, the truck looked like a comic superhero reincarnated into a small pickup body. Good news in this case is that even Chevrolet has brought some questionable design choices to the market. Yes, we are looking, or better, trying not to look at the Silverado HD. But the GMC design department was always on top of their game, with good-looking vehicles hitting the market year after year. So we sure can hope that they will not manage to screw up this one. With GMC being the more luxury-conscious manufacturer out of the GM family, we can expect the best of the best for the new Cyclone's interior. Here we need some context. GMC is a, how should we put this, an odd manufacturer. Many car companies have a main brand and a luxury one to cater to different tastes of their clientele. Toyota has Lexus, Ford has Lincoln, even GM has Cadillac. Yet no other manufacturer in the market has something similar to GMC, best known for manufacturing luxurious pickup trucks. Keeping this in mind and having well-founded examples of the GMC quality, we can well deduce that the upcoming Cyclone will be a truly magnificent place to spend time inside of. The Suspension and Drive GMC has quite some weight on their shoulders in this regard. The original Cyclone is well-renowned for its outstanding performance. So if the GMC engineers want to come even close to the original, they have quite a lot of tinkering to do. And the engineers at GMC, having produced luxury counterparts of ordinary Chevys over the years, do not look like the best suited team to achieve the desired result. Yet again, we need to remind ourselves that GMC is part of General Motors, one of the largest car manufacturers in the world. 
In addition to this fact, GMC engineers can surely draw inspiration from the mother company that has produced such legends like the Chevy Camaro and Corvette. With such a pool of expertise, there's almost no doubt that the new Cyclone will rise up to the fame of its forefather and deliver exceptional performance. Why are we talking about Corvettes and Camaros in a pickup truck video? Well, the original Cyclone for sure wasn't an off-road truck, so there we can assume that the new one will not pick this route either. Time for car manufacturers to bless us by giving us a high-performance gem to real car enthusiasts. The original Cyclone was one of them. We had the original Ford F-150 SVT Lightning, not to be mistaken with the current Lightning, which is a completely different beast altogether. We had the Dodge Ram SRT10 with the 8.3-liter Viper engine. And although rarer than the sighting of the Sasquatch, these hypertrucks sure do hit the headlines. With the market that has quite a few high-performance off-road trucks to offer, what is missing is a high-performance street truck with supercar rivaling performance characteristics. We sure hope that the new GMC Cyclone will stay true to its heritage and bring back that performance to the small pickup truck market. The Power There is currently no information on the power plant the new GMC Cyclone will be using, but one thing can be said, it will have quite some shoes to fill. Yet again, it is highly unlikely that there will be a completely new engine developed for this application alone, especially if there are more than capable contenders to take this role in GMC's own parts bin. The modern counterpart, on which chassis the new Cyclone most likely will be based, the GMC Canyon, shares a 2.7-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine with the Chevrolet Colorado. Less powerful than the original Cyclone, this new and modern engine surely can be tuned to deliver the performance required for this application. Also, it would be more in the spirit of the original car to use a high-output force induction power unit. What else can GM offer? Well, we can 100% exclude the possibility of a diesel engine. Not just would it completely clash with the personality of this truck, but also would be completely inappropriate from the environmental perspective. V8s are also out of the question for the same reasons. More exciting option is a hybrid. Not so long ago, viewed as the boring choice for vegan-friendly vehicles, new hybrids prove that they can work in high-performance applications with exceptional results. In this particular case, we are talking of combining the aforementioned 2.7-liter engine with an electric motor. Similar setups power the newly refreshed Jeep Wrangler and is putting out 375 horsepower and 470 foot-pounds of torque. This kind of performance would be expected from a performance-oriented small pickup truck. New Age Truck There's one more exciting option we must tell you about. The possibility of a completely new chassis with a fully electric drivetrain. As discussed earlier, there's quite a challenge to convince the management to switch on the green light to a completely new platform, except if the management can be convinced there's a high potential to earn profit. In times where more and more manufacturers go full electric due to ecological reasons, this would be a perfect time to introduce a brand new high-tech truck to the market, especially a performance-oriented one, as the current crop of electric power units truly has some astounding capabilities. This new truck would compete not only with the likes of well-established classic offerings like Ford Maverick, Toyota Tacoma, and Nissan Frontier, but also with new high-tech players like Rivian, Tesla, and Alpha Wolf. Yet none of those offerings has the potential, the legendary status and legacy the GMC Cyclone has. If the GMC engineers and designers succeed to capture the essence and soul of the original truck, while giving it modern looks and technologies, it will by far be one of the best offers on the market. If it will be a performance-oriented version of a GMC Canyon or brand new unique truck, there is no doubt that the competitors, especially the Ford Maverick, are anxious about the new upcoming GMC Cyclone.